CataractCoach.com. Today we're watching a routine case as performed by a recent graduate of an American residency program. This is not one of my residents. This was an anonymous submission to our website. There's a good fill of viscoelastic. That looks like a dispersive viscoelastic. And now it looks like some cohesive going in as well. There's that soft shell technique. And time for the main incision. Let's take a look here. Looks pretty good, good tunnel length. I like it. This video is shown at twice the normal speed and that's so that we can be efficient in our analysis and evaluation here. So resident again is doing a capsular axis now using forceps that are similar to mine, but not my design, which are marked off. And the resident tried to open the capsule. It looks like that wasn't too successful. And so an alternate technique will be shown. Now, I do applaud this new doctor for showing us an unedited video of the surgery. There's a cystitone being used now to start the rexus. At this level of training, the resident probably only has a few hundred surgeries under the belt. So Rex is being constructed. That looks great. Again, this is two times normal speed. This has been sped up. And that's a nice, round, well-positioned caps Rex. I like it. Hydro dissection. A special uh, cannula is being used here. This cannula can sometimes help go to the various angles around. And then a good rotation being done here. So again, not my technique of hydro dissection, but certainly effective. There's a little golden ring of hydro delineation as well. And time for some phaco here. So zooming in, zooming out. Looks like a 2.2 millimeter phaco sleeve. And a chopper going in the eye. A little bit of a cleanup of the anterior lens material. And looks like a buzz in now. And a chop. And there's a nice split. And another chop in the quarters there. And pieces being brought up. So very efficient. I like that the doctor has learned how to do phaco chop. That's a very good technique, of course. Further splitting these nuclear pieces. Buzzing in again. Bringing it up. And if need be, further chopping. So again, efficient use of the phaco probe. This is quite good. So this is a talented young doctor. Eyes being kept in primary position pretty much. I do also like the draping. The lashes are out of the way. That looks great. And remainder of the lens material here. There's the epinuclear shell. That comes out quite nicely. I do like to keep a, the blunt end of the shopper just to protect the poster capsule. And then we're going to come out and go to the IA probe. So doing very well here. So I'm very impressed that this young doctor could learn phaco chop in just a few hundred cases. That's fantastic. Here's the IA probe going in the eye using the polymer tip and removal of the cortex material. Again, looks pretty good, nice and controlled. I do like this circumferential technique. That's my technique as well. I tend to grab a few more clock hours of material first, but done beautifully. Now, some of you are wondering, should you polish the undersurface of the anterior capsular rim? I don't know if that's entirely needed. This technique is nice, filling up the capsular bag prior to removing the eye probe from the eye to prevent the anterior chamber from collapsing. We don't always do that, but I think certainly in a highly myopic eye, which this may be, in highly myopic eyes, there is a benefit of doing that to have stability to the anterior hyaloid face. Lens has been loaded up. Looks like a single piece acrylic lens. Here I'd encourage the doctor to fixate the eye so it doesn't get shoved to the nasal canthus as much. But that looks great. Lens going in. Good position. Nicely rotated. We can see a nice overlap of the optic. Looks like bounce salt solution was used to in, uh, inject underneath the optic to get out some viscoelastic. Eye probe going in the eye. Under the eye well. Fantastic. Good move, that thing is gonna be required. Going underneath the lens is important for an advanced surgeon, so this young doctor is certainly on the right path. Removing all the viscoelastic again, good overlap of the rexus. 
360 degrees. That's a nice size rack, just about five millimeters, maybe slightly less. And of course the optic is six millimeters. Looks beautiful, eyes in great position. Everything looks good. Not sure what we're zooming in on here or looking at, but I'm happy with the outcome there. And again, preventing the AC from collapsing by injecting bounce salt solution. Time for hydration of the main incision. So all in all, this is a beautiful surgery. This young doctor is doing great, and I anticipate will only get better in the future. But for this level of training, which is probably only a few hundred cases of experience, I think this was certainly an A-quality surgery. So congratulations to this young doctor, and you too can submit your video anonymously, cataractcoach.com.